sent you. You did. You just can't go around killing people. Why? The rules are simple. You can ask him anything you want. It's up to him to answer truthfully. All right. Cool. So, how you guys doing today? Um, well, uh, you know, I usually just take questions, or yeah, so if any of you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Well, yesterday you told a, a, an interesting story about what it was like to work with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I'd, I'd like to hear that again, because these people haven't heard of it. Right, uh, well, uh, you know, I, uh, I had never acted before when I, uh, before I got casted for uh, Terminator 2. I mean, I hadn't even done a school play. Um, so, uh, it was pretty wild, actually, just in general, uh, doing a uh, huge movie of that caliber uh, right away. Um, and uh, also, you know, working with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, he's, uh, you know, such a huge personality. He's, you know what I mean? It's like, uh, this guy, you know, he became Mr. Universe when he worked out, and he becomes like, you know, the uh, biggest money-making actor when he becomes an actor, and now he's governor. So, you know, that kind of says something. But, uh, yeah, you know. When, was it was it hard work? I mean, was it a long shoot? Were it long days? Because uh, a lot of the scenes are at night. Yeah, no. Uh, at the time, so it must have been hard on you. Yeah, no, Terminator 2 is a nine-month shoot. So, three months short of a year. Um, definitely a huge piece of my life. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really remember much of it because I was so young, you know, but uh, little tidbits here and there. And I mean, I just, I, 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 uh, I just remember it being a very long time. Actually, I was, um, it was very difficult because it was night shoots, a lot of it. And um, I'm, I was 13, so by the law, by law, I could only work as late as 12.30 at night back then. Usually, as an actor, when we do night shoots, we can work until like, you know, seven in the morning if we have to. But, uh, you know, they usually had to kind of clock me out at, at, uh, at 12.30. And uh, so the rest of the night, while the rest of the actors had to keep working, they'd have like some stand-in for me, you know? So they had to actually kind of shoot all my shots as quickly as they could to either, you know, get me in school, get me home for the night, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's kind of an amazing feat because I was in a lot of that movie. You know? but, uh, First of all, you're one of my favorite actors, but uh, you also worked with uh, another uh, one of my favorite actors, uh, Edward Norton. So, what's his like? What he is like, uh, like a person, and how is it to work together with him? Um, he's uh, very talented. He, um, uh, you know, very, very intense actor. Um, you know, um, I don't know, different actors are different, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, what, well, I guess, you know, in layman's terms, I kind of uh, don't take anything too seriously, maybe I should a little bit more, but I just, you know, usually have a lot of fun uh, when I work. I consider myself uh, pretty blessed to be an actor. Uh, I, I find it to be a pretty, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but, a pretty, uh, a pretty fun job. Um, so, I mean, I'm not always, you know, con in concentration mode. You know, I'm not completely in character or anything. Usually I'm just like, uh, when I'm not on camera, just going off and, I don't know, joking around or whatever. Edward Norton is very, very intense. He's very, very into his craft. Um, but, uh, I mean, working with him, being on camera with him was great. I don't know, it's, it's, it makes your job a lot easier when you're working with a good actor like that. Uh, American History X was, was big 
in Europe, it was big in Belgium, it was big in the States as well. And, and do you have any explanation why it would be big in Europe? Um, yeah, I mean, it was pretty big in the States too. Um, when we did that movie, we had no idea how big it was going to be. I mean, I've done, oh my gosh, I've done like 30 independent movies. I mean, I've done a lot. And uh, usually, they don't blow up quite like American History X did. We, we didn't even know. I mean, it was a very small budget film. Um, we had no idea that it would take off like it did um, or have the impact that it did. Um, I don't know, I guess, you know, I mean, I got a lot of people. I mean, that's the one movie I've done where there's a lot of people who um, kind of thought like that, you know, kind of like the characters do in the movie. And, I mean, for whatever reason, that movie had a very uh, huge impact on them and it changed their lives and kind of changed the way they thought, which is awesome. I mean, it, you know, I mean, I gotta admit, I'm not gonna take credit for it because, you know, the writers, the directors, you know, are really the people that made it, but uh, I, I just go in and act in it. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's pretty cool to be part of a movie like that. And I think, you know, when a movie has a message, you know, but it's not like shoved down your throat in a boring kind of way. It's, uh, it's great. Is James Cameron a difficult man to work with? They say he's very, very, very strict and, and very impatient. Is that true? You know what? Um, I heard that myself. I, uh, I had an amazing time working with Jim. And most of the people that, I've, that I know that have worked with Jim uh, say the same thing. Um, he is, he's very demanding, um, but you know when you're working with someone like that, that it's going to be pretty good, so I don't know, it's like if he's saying you're fucking up, excuse my language, if he's saying you're screwing up, uh, then I mean you kind of uh, trust in him that he's got a good idea of what, you know what I mean, so, um, it, and it's 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 very um, it's very liberating to be able to trust a director. It's very liberating to be able to just sit back and know that they know what they're doing. Um, when you have a director that you feel like has no idea what they're doing, that's pretty scary. So actually, I, I love to work with Jim. He also was uh, probably a lot more gentle with me because I was a 13-year-old kid, you know. So I mean, he wasn't like screaming at me. I mean, there was a couple of times he got a little scary, but. No, um, is what it is. Hi. Um, what are the parts you like to enjoy the most in playing, like the heavy loaded parts in the American Exo Little Odessa, or do you like um, the, the, the part better in um, Rival the Demons, or are those two not even comparable? What parts do I like to play the most? Oh, um, I don't know. I like. I like just, uh, I like acting, man. I, I, you know, obviously when I'm doing a movie like Night of the Demons, uh, it's not as strenuous, so I have a lot more time to go out and just uh, have a good time in New Orleans, and, you know, kind of rock star out a little bit, where, you know, uh, as, well, you know, you got more of a serious role, and it's, you know, it's harder work. Um, but they both are gratifying and awesome in their own ways. So, do you have any project lined up right now? Are there things to look forward to? Yeah, um, I got a movie called This Is Not A Movie coming out. Um, uh, it's like, uh, actually, uh, Slash from Guns N' Roses has done the score for it, which I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan. That's kind of exciting. I play, um, <laughs> I sound like a douche saying this, but, uh, you know, it's all me. <laughs> But it's like a, I, I play like three, three different characters, basically part of the same guy. Um, and it's a, you know, a guy basically locked in a hotel room, uh, doing a lot of drugs, trying to figure out the meaning of life. Uh, I have another one called um, For the Love of Money. Um, it's a um, kind of a monster movie uh, based on a true story. And uh, I got a couple other ones. Check them out on Any questions for John Connor? Uh, when you were little, you made this CD. Is music still something you're busy with, or is that a... Um, I'll start with this. I had no business making 
a CD at all. Like, uh, I gotta say, like, um, I, that was a pure money job. And actually, I did that CD um, in my contract. It was like, okay, because they said they came up to me and they said, if you can, you, if you make a pop CD in Japan, you'll be you'll you'll make crap loads of money. Which anyway, it's a long story. I lost all the money anyway, so it sucks, man. But uh, I. Uh, I said, okay, well, I'll do it as long as it never comes out of the States and none of my friends will ever hear it. And of course, internet came out and of course I'm, you know, forever, you know, screwed. But uh, it, it, it's terrible. I mean, honestly, I, it's an embarrassment <laughs> that I did that. But it was huge. It was like the number one CD in Japan for some reason. I don't know, man. Did you ever have to go out there to perform live or something? No, I never performed. The most I did, because I mean, obviously, I couldn't sing at all. And uh, uh, the best, uh, my, my favorite thing was uh, they actually like had this huge coliseum. And uh, they had all these like laser lights. And this is the closest I felt to a rock star. Because I remember pulling up there, and they had like, you know, they had uh, the streets blocked off like, for all the girls. I'm like a rock star. And, uh, and then they had me like drive around in the back of like a little Jeep, like waving, literally, with the song playing in the background. Which, uh, that was kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. You were uh, very young when Terminator was a very big hit. It's not something easy being a young actor and famous. How did you cope with that? Um, I don't know if people, yeah, a lot of people say it's not easy. Um, I'd say it's, uh, it's confusing a little bit um, because you got a lot of people um, saying yes to you. A lot of people, and a lot of people, um, you know, especially if you have a good parent, good parents and everything, I think it's a pretty great thing, you know, but, uh, you know, if you're someone like me who's kind of like from the streets and you got, you know, all the drugs and booze and women you want, then pretty much it can be, uh, it can be a lot of fun and a little, really easy, but too easy and too fun and then you get yourself into trouble, um, which, uh, but I wouldn't take back anything. I mean, I, for me, it was like a, uh, it was kind of a good adventure to have. You know, I, I wouldn't take it back. I loved it. I like your t-shirt. Did you get it? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> My girlfriend gave it to me, so yeah. Oh, thank you. Do we have any more questions? I think we'll wrap this up if that's okay with you. Okay, cool. Great, thank you. Great. Thank you. Have a good one.